These are my AFCON qualifying predictions. This will be part one of two. There's 20 games to cover. So in this part, we're going to do the first 11. And then in part two, we're going to do the remaining nine. But let's get into it. Our first fixture is coming out of Group E. It's Angola taking on the Central African Republic. Now in Angola's last five fixtures, they've only won one. They've drawn two and they've lost two. And they didn't impress in the World Cup qualifiers earlier this year. Finishing fourth in their group behind Egypt, Gabon and Libya. Their last result was in fact a draw against Libya was 1-1. However, their more impressive results out of that set of fixtures was their 2-2 draw to Egypt, so they can play some footy when they want to. Then the Central African Republic have not been in good form of late, not winning a game in their last five fixtures, losing four and drawing one. Their last win was against Nigeria away from home where they beat them 1-0, which was a massive result for CAR. But since then, they've been in dismal form, conceding 10 goals in their last five fixtures, and their latest result was a 0-0 draw to Sudan, who they probably should have beat they also had a dismal world cup qualifying performance where they finished fourth behind nigeria cape Verde, and liberia so for me i think angola is in slightly better form they are the better team coming into this so my score prediction for this is a 1-0 win to angola and my betting tip is under three and a half goals Our next fixture is Libya taking on Botswana. Now, we just spoke a little bit about Libya. In their last five fixtures, they've won two, drawn one, and lost two. Their last game out was against Mauritania, where they lost 2-0. However, they have recently beat Kuwait, which was good for them. Libya were in the same group as Angola in the World Cup qualifiers, finishing only one position better than them third. So, also not a great performance in the World Cup qualifiers. However, they did have the titan of Egypt in their pool, as well as Gabon. Now, Botswana, on the other hand, are probably one of the weaker sides in Africa in their last five fixtures they've won one drawn one and lost three their last game out was against Eswatini where they drew 1-1 in the Kosafa Cup they ended up fourth in the group in the Kosafa Cup and did the exact same thing in the World Cup qualifier where they ended fourth behind Algeria Zimbabwe and Zambia one of their worst losses in the World Cup qualifier was a 5-0 loss to Algeria like I said Botswana one of the weaker teams in Africa so I think this will be quite a convincing win for Libya I'm predicting a 2-0 win and my betting tip is Libya to win our next fixture is the black stars of ghana taking on madagascar now ghana haven't been in great form they haven't won a game in their last six fixtures however they did impress in the world cup qualifiers where they ended first just sneaking over South Africa. They actually tied on points and goal difference. The only thing getting Ghana through was that they had less yellow cards in South Africa, which pains me to say. I thought South Africa were going to be able to make it, but unfortunately not. Their last two games was against Nigeria, where it was two draws, 0-0 zero, zero, and 1-1. One, one. The Black Stars are one of the more prominent teams in Africa, so we do expect them to qualify for this AFCON. Madagascar, on the other hand, have only won one out of their last 10 games. They unfortunately didn't manage to qualify for AFCON last year, finishing third in their pool behind Ivory Coast and Ethiopia. Madagascar on a bad side on their day however I just think the Black Stars are going to have a little bit too much for them so my prediction for this is a 2-0 win to Ghana and my betting tip is Ghana to win. Our next fixture is Malawi taking on Ethiopia. Now Malawi's last five games have won two, drawn one and lost two. Malawi are coming off a pretty successful AFCON. I don't think many people expected them to make it to the knockout stages, however they did. They finished third in their pool behind Senegal and Guinea and in the group stages they managed a draw against Senegal, a win over Zimbabwe and a draw versus Guinea so didn't even lose a game in the group stages and then unfortunately they got knocked out by Morocco in the round of 16. However they haven't played since that game against Morocco so they might be a little bit rusty coming into this one we'll just have to see what happens when they take the pitch and then Ethiopia on the other hand haven't won a game in their last 10 fixtures they just come in off three international friendlies two against Lesotho and one against Comoros they lost against Comoros and drew both of the games to Lesotho and they finished stone last in their group in AFCON last year so for me I think Malawi is in slightly better form yes they haven't played for long but I do think they are the better side so for me my prediction is a 2-0 win to Malawi and my best Leading tip is Malawi to win. Our next fixture is Egypt taking on Guinea. Now, Egypt have won six out of their last 
eight fixtures, those two losses being both to Senegal, one in the AFCON final last year where Senegal just snuck them and then secondly in the World Cup qualifying spot where Senegal also managed to beat them, knocking Egypt out of the World Cup. I know Mo Salah is not going to be too happy with that. However, we do expect him to be playing against Guinea in this fixture. And then Guinea on the other hand in their last five fixtures, they've won two, drawn one and lost two. In their last game out was against South Africa where they drew 0-0. They had quite a successful AFCON last year where they finished second in their group only behind Senegal and then unfortunately got knocked out by Gambia losing that game 1-0. However, I do think they'll have their sights set to go slightly further this year in the AFCON and potentially even make the semi-finals. However, my prediction for this, I think Egypt is a very quality side. So I'm going for 2-0 Egypt win and my betting tip is Egypt to win. Our next fixture is Tunisia taking on Equatorial Guinea. Now Tunisia obviously just qualified for the World Cup at the end of the year. They did so by beating Mali 1-0 on aggregate. Tunisia's form of late, they've won two, drawn one and lost two in their last five. And they did have quite a successful AFCON last year, finishing third behind Mali and Gambia and then eventually getting knocked out in the quarterfinals by Burkina Faso. Equatorial Guinea on the other hand have been in very, very decent form lately, winning six out of their last 10 games with two losses and two draws in that. The one loss was against Senegal in the quarterfinals of the AFCON last year where they lost 3-1. They managed to finish second in their pool only behind the Titans Ivory Coast and an interesting fact about this Tunisia Equatorial Guinea game is that the last time they met Equatorial Guinea won 1-0 so there's definitely an upset on the cards here. I'm going to go for that upset. My prediction is a 1-0 win for Equatorial Guinea however my betting tip is under two and a half goals. Our next fixture is Comoros taking on Lesotho. Now Comoros have just come off an international friendly against Ethiopia where they won 1-0. They managed to finish third in their pool last time out at AFCON only behind Morocco and Gabon. Unfortunately they got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Cameroon where they lost 2-0. And then Lesotho on the other hand have only won one out of their last 10 fixtures so definitely a team that is not in form. They recently played Ethiopia in two international friendlies where they drew both of them 1-1 and they didn't manage to qualify for AFCON last year so that's definitely going to be on their list this year. However they did recently have a very very poor co Safa Cup where they finished fifth in their group stone last and being in a group this year in the qualifications with Comoros, Ivory Coast and Zambia is going to make it very very difficult for them to qualify for AFCON this year so I just don't see them getting it done. My prediction for this is a 1-0 Comoros win and my betting tip is under three and a half goals. Our next fixture is Mozambique taking on Rwanda. Now Mozambique have only won one out of their last 10 fixtures. That win came against Malawi in the World Cup qualifiers and they've recently just played two friendlies. One against Mauritiana where they lost 2-1 and one against Niger where they drew 1-1 so not bad results for them there. Then Rwanda on the other hand have also not won a game in long. Their last five fixtures they've lost so Rwanda definitely not in the greatest of forms. This is definitely a bottom of the table clash in this group because Senegal and Benin are in this group as well. We expect them to probably take first and second in this group. However, Rwanda's latest fixture was an international friendly against Guinea where they lost 2-0. I just don't see this game being very fruitful for either team. It's going to be quite a battle. I'm not sure who's going to win this one. Anyone could win this. So my prediction for this is a 0-0 draw and my betting tip is under two and a half goals. Our next fixture is Togo taking on Eswatini. Now Togo are undefeated in their last five fixtures, winning three and drawing two. They recently played two international friendlies against Sierra Leone where they won 3-0 and Benin where they drew 1-1. Unfortunately in their World Cup qualifying group they ended second only behind Senegal and they finished third in their AFCON group last year just behind Egypt and Comoros. It was a tough group for them and it's going to be a tough group for them this year with the likes of Burkina Faso and Cape Verde who's probably going to take first and second position. Position. Then Eswatini on the other hand have been in decent form winning two out of their last five drawing one and losing two. They recently played in the Kosafa Cup where they ended second in their group only behind South Africa. Then they ended up losing to Senegal in the semi-final however they did claim third place by beating Mozambique on penalties and claiming the bronze medal. They didn't qualify for AFCON last year so I'm sure they'll be looking to do that this year. It's just a really really tough group for them. My prediction just like the last one I think this can go anywhere. Togo or Eswatini can win this so I'm 
I'm going for a 1-1 draw and my betting tip is under three and a half goals. Now next fixture is Burkina Faso taking on Cape Verde, probably the biggest fixture in this part one video. Burkina Faso unfortunately have lost four out of their last five games. They did come off a very intense international break where they played Belgium and lost 3-0 and played Kosovo where they lost 5-0. Now these are quality European international teams so we wouldn't have expected the results to go any other way. However Burkina Faso did have quite an outstanding AFCON last year. They made it all the way to the semi-finals where they eventually got knocked out by Senegal and forced into a third place playoff against Cameroon where they eventually won that on penalties and claimed the bronze medal. So that was a very very good result and something they'll be looking to improve upon this year in the AFCON. Then Cape Verde on the other hand in the last 10 fixtures they have won six drawn to and lost to. Also coming off an international break where they played San Marino and beat them 2-0. They also played Liechtenstein where they won 6-0 and Guadalupe where they won 2-0. So coming off some very very good results. Last year in the AFCON they made it to the round of 16 where Senegal eventually beat them on their way to the title 2-0 so this one is going to be a very very good one I think it's probably going to be the best game to watch out of the lot however Burkina Faso have won their last three encounters with Cape Verde so I'm going to stick to that form and go for a 2-1 Burkina Faso win here my betting tip is Burkina Faso to win or draw Then our final fixture for part one is Ivory Coast taking on Zambia. Now Ivory Coast last 10 games have garnered five wins, four losses and one draw. They have come off a very tough international break against England and France where they went down 3-0 to England and then in quite a surprising result only lost 2-1 to France so definitely a team that's in form. Last year in AFCON they made it all the way to the round of 16 after being knocked out by Egypt on penalties and then Zambia on the other hand their recent form has garnered one win, one draw and three losses. Now the last time Zambia played international football was last year November in World Cup qualifying where they ended third in their group behind Tunisia and Equatorial Guinea. They haven't played much football and to me this should be quite a nice easy warm-up for Ivory Coast. So my prediction is a 2-0 win to Ivory Coast and my betting tip is Ivory Coast to win. Thank you. 